The rising incidence of illegal importation of firearms into the country has been in public discourse for some time now. Representative Inkiruka Onyejocha expressed concern that, despite the fact that some customs officers were involved in clearing the container and were detained, no information has been disclosed as to whether they have been charged to court or not. She added that the frequent illegal importation of firearms into the country contributes in foiling crime across the country. So if at, on the first value it has been determined that it is illegal, we believe that by now that such persons who have done this illegality should have been prosecuted. Also at plenary, the House of Representatives urged the Chief of Defense Staff and Chief of Army Staff to urgently provide tents for soldiers at various theaters of operations. The resolution followed a motion moved by Representative Hassan Sali on the need to provide tents for combatant soldiers. Contributing to the debates, Representative Yakubu Barde decried the conditions of combatant soldiers across the country, especially those injured in the line of duty. I urge the military to urgently, very urgently, provide these uh, you know, uh, sleeping materials or tents for these soldiers so that they can effectively fight this battle. The engagement of our military officers in this war against terror is terrible. In as much as one wants to commend them because of the hardship they go through, even in deployment, and the condition where they fight to keep this country won. Representative Barde lamented over the number of young inexperienced soldiers that are sent to the battlefield without any form of incentives. Our young men and women are recruited and they are trained for just barely three weeks, I mean three months, and the next point of their, point, uh, of their, uh, of, of their posting is to the battlefront. Charity Marcus Tanko, ITV News, Abuja.